Good morning, friends. It's actually 1 p.m. I am getting the kids some lunch. They're gonna have bagels and bananas. We are battling sickness over here. That's why I have not vlogged in a few days. I am finally coming out on the other end of it. Um, today's day six, and I just had started as a head cold, moved into my sinuses, moved down into my chest, and now I'm finally, I still have a cough and some stuffiness, but it's not that like overwhelming head congestion that you get with like a sinus head cold. And then Alice woke up this morning. I still am winded easily. I'm having trouble when I'm talking and recording. I did a grocery haul yesterday and it was like, I was so winded. Um, my O2 has been okay. It dropped down a little bit. Um, my pulse has been really high in my body. When it fights a cold, it it's like more than just a basic cold. Um, so my body goes through the ringer a bit. But Alice woke up this morning with a sore throat and she has a fever. So she will be staying home from AHG tonight. I will take Jackson to Trail Life. Um, we'll stay home with Alice. So we're having, it's a Tuesday, so we should be doing school. Yesterday was President's Day, so I let the kids have most of the day off. Alice had a friend over who goes to public school. So because she didn't have school, um, the friend came and stayed Sunday night, stayed the night. And then yesterday we went to the library for a slime class and then ran some errands and her friend got picked up yesterday evening around dinner. Um, so all the kids did yesterday was math. I'm waiting for Jackson to finish up a game on the Xbox with his cousins and I'm gonna have him do his math and I'm gonna see, I'll have Alice do it at some point today but she's still just not feeling great. So she had a popsicle for breakfast and now, like I said, I'm getting them some bagels. And we, uh, we, we liked the chive and onion cream cheese from Walmart. Um, so we're gonna go sit outside because it's like 60 degrees out, so nature's medicine will hopefully make us all feel better. I lied, I'm gonna give them some blueberries because I forgot that I had these in the fridge and I don't want them to go bad. Not that they are, they're still really good condition, but I thought that would be yummy. And they've already been washed. So a nice blueberry antioxidant for our system this morning. Hello there, darling. Not feeling the best, huh? Oh, what are you watching? YouTube. Huh? YouTube. YouTube. Are you stuffy? Mm -hmm. mm, fresh air will do you some good. Do you, you sure you don't want a hoodie? It's beautiful out, so we're gonna enjoy this. Um, I was just talking to some friends about wanting to paint our like side door entry, which is our main entry um, in our laundry room area. So I think in the next coming weeks, maybe we'll pick a color for that as weather's warmer and slap some paint on there, and I think that'll be fun. And then I also thought about painting our front door because the previous owners painted it white and almost made it, I don't know if they did it intentionally or if they just did a poor job, but it looks like like the rustic, like white, but you can kind of see through, like streaks through it. I feel like they didn't do that intentionally and it was just their idea of, I don't know why they painted it because it's, it's the original wood doors. Anyway, um, I don't like it. So I think if we pick, I'm leaning towards like a sage green color for the laundry room. And I think I'll use that same color on the front door and cover the streaky white paint job so starting to dream a little bit on new home improvement projects and gardening which I know next to nothing about um, we've started some um, like beginner planning stages we thought about doing raised beds out back we've got a big backyard but we also have a septic system so we can't like plant here close to the house where this like the septic drain field is so I thought about doing out there, which Will did, oops, you can't see my finger, out that way, which Will didn't want to cover that area. He wanted to do this other back corner, but there's trees back here that provide too much shade. So, which dawned on me just today. Um, but he wanted to keep this back, this, this area over here ah, open because when he and Jackson played disc golf, they can shoot it all the way down, but they can just shoot it over the garden. 
I don't know. So I thought about doing raised beds and pricing those out. It was way too expensive. So then um, I think we're just going to till a plot like a 10 by 10 or something around that just for a starter garden and see what we can do this year. I also went to Dollar Tree and got the three tray planters that you can stagger to make a tower planter. And I think I'm gonna try strawberries in one tower and herbs in another one and have those on the front porch because that gets direct morning sunlight. So we'll see, maybe nothing will grow. Maybe we'll get some good crop, I don't know. But we're just going to try it. I haven't gardened in my adult life ever. Um, I grew up with a garden in the backyard but even as we got older, we let that grow over and we didn't continue gardening. So it's a learning process for us. But we're starting to dream as we come into spring for some garden plans and some house plans. Um, keeping it on the frugal side because when we bought the house, we bought when rates, well rates are still high. Um, we even bought our rate down a little bit the interest rate and it's still just under seven percent so as soon as we're able to when rates st start to fall we're just holding out so that we can refinance and that'll free up some money in the budget for more house projects but in the meantime we're just kind of in a standstill and doing like smaller things because we would love to redo our bathroom um i would love to do work in the kitchen but that's going to involve it's got like layers of wallpaper over tile over paint over wallpaper again so it's not great so i don't even want to start that project yet until we have more practice doing other things around the house hi buddy your plate is on the kitchen counter i made you a bagel see his ankles these are size 16. so i just ordered him two pair of size 18s from walmart and they will be here in a few days and I have a feeling they're going to be great for length, but do you think they're going to stay up on your hips? Mm -mm. No, not at all. He still has adjustable waist because he's so slim. He's tall and thin, like I said. You have a hair on your elbow that's going to go into your... Yeah, there you go. I don't want it to go into your cream cheese. Um, so he's going to do a math lesson. Alice will do some math later with Daddy because you're staying home from HG tonight. You have a fever. You're blinking at me. It's still a school day. I'm not forcing you guys to do a full day because I know you're not feeling well, but we're going to do a little bit. I love you so much. You can do hard things. Ironically, she's missing, um, they're working on what badge at AHG? Math. Math. <laughs> uh. So now we're inside. I have a bomb pop. A bomb pop? Yeah, a bomb pop. Oh, we don't have any. Um, Alice is working on perler beads. Jackson and I are going to start this puzzle. Last night... Alice made Hello Kitty, Batman and Spider-Man. I can't get an open. Give me a second. You almost got it. And I made Sally and a succulent and a frog wearing a cowboy hat. Because why not? So we got the border done. And we're making a little bit of progress. I told Jackson he had to stick with me at least to do the border. And now he's having fun with me, huh? That's what I do. I sucker you into having fun with Mama. What'd you make? A tummy. A tummy. How's your throat feel? Yeah. Why don't you go check your temperature again? You don't feel as warm as you did when you woke up. All right, Jack and I finished our puzzle. Was it fun? It was more fun than you thought it would be, huh? Yeah. You can go have some free time now. Yes, we did it. We did it. Jackson and I are getting ready to head out to Trail Life. Alice is going to get some math problems done. Will just got home from work so he can help her if she needs help. So Jack and I will be gone until probably like 8, 8.30. Usually by the time we get home, it's a little bit after 8. Um, yeah, I didn't make dinner today, so they're just going to have to fend for themselves while we're gone. Uh, I was going to do baked potatoes and broccoli, like loaded baked potatoes, but... Will just got home and we literally have to walk out the door, Jack and I, so you okay? Mm -hmm. Alice is still running her fever. I just had her check again. It was like 100 point, 100.9 like 100 on the one side. So she's still, we don't medicate until it usually gets much higher. I mean, not like much higher, but usually I don't medicate until about 103 unless they're feeling really crummy and achy along with it. She said she had a little bit of a headache. Is your head still hurting? 
If it gets to the point where you need some medicine, just let me know, okay? Um, so yeah, Jack and I are gonna head out. Daddy and Alice are gonna hang out here at the house and then I will touch back in with you when we get home. I don't know why I thought I was going to vlog any when I got home because I knew it was gonna be later. Will is in bed, or he's heading to bed. Jackson and I had a decent evening out together. Alice is still feeling the same. And I'm gonna close this out because there's not much more going on here tonight. So thanks for coming along with us on our little sick day today. Drop a comment, share some love, and until next time, we will see you later. Bye.